Well, Obama, happy birthday, Obama. Uh, speaking of um, Obama, race, race relations. Oh shit! <laughs> what happened? Well, did you have to shoot your way out of a situation? I've no, no, no. Okay. No, thank God. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Thank God, because uh, I thought. Uh, 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 I I I um I go to a strip club every so often. You're at a strip club? Of course I was. When I found out we weren't working Sunday <laughs> uh or, or Monday, I immediately uh went to the strip club. I was surprised you called me uh Sunday. I'm like, "Why yeah. is he calling?" Cuz you weren't sure we had uh Monday off. No, my email just completely fucked up. I got no emails and, from um Friday and, until like maybe Saturday night. And you were itching to go to a club. I was just like itching to do something, and I didn't want to like. Which one was it? Blow the load, and then have like, oh, we are working. Holy shit! Now I'm in trouble. Uh, well, uh, the carousel out there on uh, on Long Island on uh, good old Jericho Turnpike. Exactly. Give them a little plug, but uh, oh, I don't know what's going on over there. What happened? Well, last time I went there, which was about a year ago. It was uh, yeah, about a year ago. I think I guess. you were talking about the Russian dancers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some nice Russian dancers. They had some nice Russian dancers. Uh, one was, you know, really, really nice. You know, and I, I, I was you know, giving us some money and shit. It was really very, very uh, mutually advantageous, let's just say. Sure. It was nice. She was uh, very pretty. Um, great body on her. It was fantastic. So I go there um, uh, uh, Sunday. And uh, I don't know what happened to that place. It was uh, like I had walked into a strip club in the South Bronx. It was all black strippers? It, all black strippers, and the, everyone around the bar was wearing the Yankee cap with the flat brim and the tag still on it, and all black. It's, it's like a black strip club. No, I don't know if that was just Sunday. That's our hometown strip club. They exactly. Can't go, they can't go black. Obama president, nah, is I, what I'm thinking. I don't mind a black stripper thrown into the mix, but you can't have all black strippers. Taxing me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, too much gun control. Um, uh, and now my strip club is black. So you certainly didn't stay there. My strip club is black. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, you left immediately, right? No, <laughs> Cause, no. Because they're all pink on the inside. I, oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I wanted to see what um, <laughs> Anthony walked in and yelled, Otis, my man! Right. <laughs> Very funny. Kevin from Connecticut. Yeah. Um, no, I, I stick uh, stuck around because I, I was actually saying, yo, where the white women at? And uh, there were a couple. It was one Russian, you know, they were all Ukrainian or Russian or wherever they're, they're from. There were two of them, and one was really hot, and the other one was all right. So I kind of stuck around just to see them. Sure. And um, I'm very racist with my tipping, by the way. Why? Very racist. Oh, if it's white girls, she gets more? Oh, yeah. Black girls, they get like a uh, buck. The old Long Island buck. A buck for what? They come by, well, because they come by and then they lean in and... And they want money, you know, and I got the little pile of dollars and so they, stuff stacked up in front so of me. They take your, your dollar with their their boobs. <laughs> well, they try, and I, I hold it out and hand it to them. And, and, and she goes, uh, why don't you want to put it in there, baby? Like, put it in, in, in here, you know? What, what is that supposed to do to us? It, thank you. What is that supposed to do for us, really? First of all, what when is that supposed to do? the girl leans over with the boobs and, and presses them together. Presses so them you to grab the, the dollar. All right, what is that? Wow. Really? Ooh. What are we supposed to, like, like shoot cum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that for real supposed to do? It looks ridiculous. Danny had a great saying about us and what, it, what the difference is between, like, just somebody going to a tit bar and what people that have been involved in this show... Going to a tit oh, bar, yeah. it, what it's like, because, I mean, what we see in this fucking studio, what we've seen over the years... Yeah, we're lucky. Yeah. In that way. So it's, what, it's like violent... It's like going on a violent murderous rampage, and then, like, going to a UFC event. It's just like, it's just <laughs> yeah, not... It's not the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you're kind of like, all right, there's some blood and stuff, but I, I chopped up a hooker <laughs> with a chainsaw. Yeah. 
You know, yeah, I've buried people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I could deal with two people fighting. You know? uh, yeah, I, I could really deal. So to have a chick like squish your tits together, so maybe what the edge of my middle finger is going to brush against the inside I, of the tit. I never understood that move, man. I I don't. I I think it's stupid. I mean, you know, if you want us to roll it up and you know have fun that way, shove it in. <laughs> right then, maybe. Then then yeah, right. Then maybe. <laughs> But then you, maybe I'm playing along. But it just looks like you don't have hands, and you, you yeah, need yeah. to use your boobs as hands or so something. So they, they come up, and they stop in front of you and give the fucking, you know, the tit thing. And I just handed the girl the dollar. And she goes, oh, you don't want to put it in there? And I was like, ah, I don't want to give you a paper cut. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Last minute, I was like, I don't want to give you a paper cut. You know, Tony, let Tony <laughs> in on the conversation, and then I, yeah. I have something to add to this. Go ahead, Tony. Hey, uh Oh, first of all, congratulations on the hang with uh, Judd Apatow. That was a great, great call on Friday. But Anthony, yeah, it's Sunday night. You would go normally go to work on Monday, right? Yeah, I go to work on Monday. <laughs> oh, okay, he goes to work on Monday. Jesus, you guys will need to make money on Sundays too. But who I... is going to make money? Who's going to be there on a Sunday night? I see oh. where you're going with this. Is this special uh, specialty programming? It could be specialty programming. I'm just thinking. Call it a theme night for Sunday night. All right, that's one way to look at it. I was looking at it as just, in general, it's weekend programming. Weekend like, programming. Like, you know, pick out your favorite uh, radio station or your favorite channel on Sirius XM. You know, there's nothing going on on, on the Sunday weekends. Turn it on. Sometimes it's religious programming. It's just, You're like, it's they weekend. rock all week. What is this? It's weekend uh, programming. A yeah, niche. You know, the workhorses <coughs> right. have to take a little break. Yeah. So what do you get in return? Some, like, part-timer. You know, it, you're he right. Made, you should have went on Saturday. And I, then... I, well, I was busy on Saturday, but um, I, I figured, you know, Sunday, what the hell? No work Monday? And so, I, uh, you know, showed up there at like midnight on Sunday. Yeah. Jesus. So uh, what the hell could be going on on a Sunday night at a strip club? I was very curious to see what was. And, and by the way, it was a lot of black people in uh, <laughs> the carousel. And every time that door opened up, it was like more like gangsters were walking in. Gangsters, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. Why do we always have to go back to Biggie Smalls? Drinking the Cavassier and shit. Can we update our black music? And then they had uh, the strippers, uh, a lot of black strippers with the big booties. They had the big And they were doing the booty shake, where, where they, they grab the pole, bend over, and that booty shakes like a fucking earthquake. Hey, Greg, you ever see a dog shake? Yeah, yeah. And then you end up with fleas on your body? Yeah. They what, should, what's jumping off the black strippers onto you? I have no they idea. Do the booty shake, but they, they the booties look like that. Uh, they were big booties, and they shake them. God, you should have brought Dan. Dan, you go. Yeah, man, I love the oh, onion yeah, booties. Yeah. Oh, he? Why would you? Well, I don't know. Oh, same. Uh, I don't know. Right. I just know Danny likes the big booties. Hell that's all. Yeah. Well, it'd be the perfect yeah, place yeah. for you. Well, yeah, the booties were were uh, uh, pretty booty bootylicious. Oh yeah. And then there was a third white chick there. There were only three, like, white broads there. Skinny white chick with no ass? No. This one, she was bordering on Sandy Kane. She was, the I was calling her grandma. And every time she'd walk around, I'd hear, like, hey, and she'd be behind us. And I'm going, I, I would just turn around and go, oh, she was so messed up. How old was she? Dude, I, can't, I couldn't tell. She looked like one of those... White trash women that get pulled over in cops for crystal meth, <laughs> oh, you know, and it's like you don't know if they're thirty or sixty because gotcha. like they're just ravaged. I'm right there with you. This chick's ass was so flabby and and just like hanging, and and, and she had like fake tits and her belly just it was stretch marks everywhere on her. Did you put it in? No. Did you put it in a little, a little bit. And I kept getting bit. questioned. Would you? Would, would you? you? I'm like, I wouldn't fucking go near that. Would you? That that old fossil. Never. So how long did you stay in the black uh, strip club? Oh, my God. Yeah, for like four hours. Yeah, you're not that racist. No, no, because I was just waiting for the white chicks. I was waiting for the white bras to come out and dance. A couple of the black chicks were good cool, good to look at, you know. But I'm just not into black chicks. Mm. You know, they, I could appreciate... All right, that's hot. You know, that chick, she's all right. All right, that chick's got a nice ass. Because I was saying, I go, all right, she's got a nice ass. You know, 
But I'm just, I can't see giving over 20s or 50s. So the the poor black stripper got a dollar between oh, she her gets a dollar. And what did the white girls get? 20. For real? Yeah. <laughs> the white stripper will come along. I'll be like, ooh, you are fucking, you are gorgeous. And I'll hand her a 20. And she'll be like, oh, thank you. And then they come over. But then, but then, apparently, what was it? New York Jet? Yeah, somebody like that. So one of the fucking Jets was in there. Yeah. And, and his, him and his posse were in the corner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the white chicks were even just over there. Of course. Just lapping up fucking, you know, you their should, money. You should have told them who you were. I have ever. I oh, should have. No, I didn't. Should have had Kenny call ahead. Yeah. Anthony will be coming by. He has a pocket full of cash for your whores. Please make sure they pay attention to him. Yeah, so, you know, the white bro would be like, Oh, yeah, I, I have to go over there. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back, though. I'll be back. i go over to there. Really? And then there they are, just like sitting on the... And then Grandma went over to the black guys, and, and they were just like goofing on her. and Oh... But they just, you know, they are just touching and grinding everything. Like, they have no qualms about reaching. Like, if we did shit they were doing, the bouncer would have fucking thrown us out on our asses. They're just rubbing chlamydia on everything. Oh, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> chlamydia. <laughs> just on everything in I their was just sight. Like, what happened to, to my strip club? Well, you have to go on a Friday or Saturday. Yeah, I know. I mean, come on. That's a, that's that's That's... Yeah. That's our joint. There's no way that it's black all the time. I, I couldn't imagine. You should have went down the street to uh, to where? I forgot the name. It's been oh, a while. Oh, oh, the tender trap. Tender trap. Yeah, behind the. That's uh, a little too far. What a great place to work. Uh, the mechanic yeah. shop in front. It was the radiator place. Jesus. <laughs> in front of the tender trap. You think those guys hated going to work every day? <laughs> it was literally behind the radiator shop. Yeah. The tender trap, but uh, yeah, so that was um, that was Sunday when I realized. And, and yeah, they're fans of the show at the tender trap, are they? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. You should have went there. God, that's gruesome. That's what that grandma looked like. Well, let's go to the phones because you, oh. get, you got them uh, talking. It. Uh, we go to Dan and Philly. Uh, wow, Philly this weekend. You, you're going right in. Oh yeah. UFC comes to Philly for the first time this weekend. A whole bunch of us are going. Uh, we're trying to get Dana White on the show. I think he's going to be calling in Friday. He is pissed off, and we're avoiding that one phone call yeah. from that one listener who said, look, there's no way Fedor is going to be uh, fighting in the UFC. And we're like, go fuck yourself. And then when the speculation was that he was going to, we, we started laughing at him like, ha-ha, I told you. Right, and then on Friday it became apparent that uh, Fedor will not be in the UFC. This guy called all morning long. We saw you calling. We just yeah. couldn't take the phone call. You were right. We were wrong. But da uh, Dana White is fucking pissed. And you, Rupert, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> if the boys could find the clip of Dana White going off on uh, Fedor, it would be great to play on the show today. Yeah. It, I, basically, Fedor is afraid of uh, Lesnar. Is it, that what uh, it, it has to be yeah, said. Coming down to it. Uh, what do you got, Dan and Philly? Sorry for the big setup to your phone call. No, that's cool, totally. Uh, first of all, I'll see you guys at the UFC fight. Um, oh, can I? I got to interrupt again. Uh, Joe Rogan coming in on Thursday to do our radio show, oh. and he's playing the Helium Comedy Club down there in Philly on Friday. A lot of us are going to the Helium on Friday as well. He's got nice. two shows, and if if it's not sold out, it's going to be sold out very soon. So if you're in the area, you might want to pick up a ticket to see Rogan. Well, yeah, he, he is unbelievable that. on that stage. Yeah, Rogan, and, really and he's a great guy. and a great UFC announcer, obviously. Yep. All it's right, Dad. Finally, I like Helium a lot. Finally, um, what do you got? As far as uh, strip club goes, um, like here in Philly, dude, they're all black. They're all black. What happened? Like you, you can't go to a, to a strip club in Philly without seeing some like six kid black woman with stretch marks. Just it, it's disgusting. And the one place left where they have white women dancing, like gorgeous white women, is Delilah's, and that's where all the football pros go. So if you can't outbid them, well. You got no shot. Well, Dan, wow. let me tell you something. We wouldn't know about strip clubs in Philly because we always went to the bathing suit places. Oh, God, yeah. The swimsuit places. What the fuck is that about in Philly? Dad. And every time we went down to do a gig for YSP, they got all excited and they set us up in the bathing suit place. You got a VIP seat in there. And you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they dance around in bikinis and you're like, this is fucking this stupid. Is, this is ridiculous. I can go to the beach.
Right. See this yeah, exactly. shit? I want to exactly. see tits. And that's why we call it the bathing suit place. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to cheerleaders because of that fact. The like, girls, fuck that. The girls, like, are really hot, but they got bathing suits on. Yeah. What, yeah. what, what the fuck? And then they're, like, trying to dance for you. I'm like, no. Like, Take Ann, it off. Like Ann said, you can go to the beach and see better stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. Yeah, or, yeah, pretty don't much. Don't bother me. Oh. But yeah, man. Like I said, uh, like it, the only good place left in Philly is the Lilas, and I mean, I met Donovan and Nab there. Allen Iverson was there. Uh, I don't know if you know who Michael Grant is. He was there, and it's like these guys just got money to burn. And if you can't compete with that, then you're not getting any of those sexy women. So, but you're not getting them anyway. Make this sexy. Well, you never know. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, with that kind of money, they're taking them home. You know that. Yeah, wait, you're one of these guys that go to the joints hoping to take one of them home? Oh, absolutely not. No, okay. no, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, it does happen. But I'm saying, if you've got a lot of money, <laughs> it's possible. It can happen. <laughs> Fairy tales can come true. It could happen to you. I think if you're younger, uh, or if, if you have a large bank roll. If you, have a, if you tip $100 a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <laughs> be telling me that you're a professional at this thing. Well, no, nah, that was back um, probably about... What, like um, two weeks ago? No, no, this is going. <laughs> this is actually the last time I was there. Yeah. You brought a, a girl home? Yeah. What are you, nuts? Why? Well, you're passed out. She's like, you know... Fuck that shit. I don't pass out. Well, you were just... Well, you have to pass day. out eventually. No, I don't. <laughs> Not till they're out my fucking house. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so how that shit works. There. You were just there on there was, Sunday. There was no sleepy yeah. time? <laughs> yeah, last time I was there was Sunday, but I'm talking about the last time last I was time, there about a year before ago. that. <laughs> was that. <laughs> there was no sleepy time? No, no downtime. No downtime? No downtime. All right, so you're... I, I, I figured you're smart. Yeah. That'd be crazy right, so just to pass out and let a Russian <laughs> stripper just walk around your joint. No, no. What the? When is that? Jo when is that Joe Rogan show at Helium? It's going to be Friday night. This Friday? Yes. Okay, cool. And tickets will go fast, so call the Helium Comedy Club in Philly. It's it's a great weekend. you got uh, Joe Rogan doing comedy, and then the first UFC event in Philly. That's nice. How is Joe Rogan stand-up? I've never seen him. He's one of my favorites, uh, to be completely yep. honest with you. He's amazing. Yeah. He's, he's... I, saw, I saw Patrice at Helium, and he was awesome. Yeah. So, all right, well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right, man. Take it easy. Let's go to Lydia, the Lydia. Lydia. Oh, boy. Hi, good morning, guys. Hi, Hi Lydia. Lydia. You know, Anthony, I've been thinking about you a lot lately. And, um, I bet you I, have. I can't help myself, I guess. I'm sort of obsessed with your lack of, uh, lack of chickness. Lack of chickness? Yeah, we got to get you a chick that's gone to strip club, black strip clubs on Sunday nights. It's like... How do you, how do you know, like, I don't have chickness? That, that I was just, you know available to go out and have fun on a Sunday night and decided to go to a strip club. You know what? I don't know that. I made an See? assumption. See? You made an ass-umption is what you did. Because you're an <laughs> ass, I Lydia. An ass out of myself? You made an ass-umption. Lydia, <laughs> why, why do you want Anthony to have just one girl in his life? Yeah, that's oh, always worked what? so well for me. I sort of have this, this feeling... Of like protectiveness for you guys. I'm certainly not your staff psychologist, yeah, but I feel protective over your mental health and happiness. But see, Anthony had two long-term relationships. Yeah, more yeah. than that. If you go back a ways, right? Two I know of. Sure. Yeah. Most of the time I've spent doing radio with Anthony, he was uh, with a girl. They get very codependent. They get very, it's just not a um, this, it's not a healthy thing. This whole thing <laughs> with Anthony dating. Is only uh, about a year and a half, two years old at this point. Yeah, somewhere around there. I don't know the exact uh, time, but and now I've fallen into just uh, oh my god, looking at horrid pornography on websites and things like that. I'm like really, I think Jimmy's rubbing off on me a little bit. Yeah, like the old Jimmy thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a dick in my mouth anytime soon, <laughs> but I gotta say, like that whole lifestyle, that whole sexual obsession thing. It's kind of it's kind of seeping in. It's creeping in a little it's bit. It's kind of dripping out. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's that's the trajectory we want. Is it? Uh, no. No. It's called, oh, it's called a midlife crisis. Look it up. 
<laughs> All the signs are there. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Come on. We don't do this for a living, and we can figure it I'm out. I'm going to get a diamond earring. Oh, please don't no. do that. No, my God. Please, please don't, don't do that. that. Oh, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> How bad would that be? You know at this I point. I just come in one day. Hey, guys. You're lucky that your live your midlife crisis is happening in the year 2009 because yeah. if if this was a few years ago you'd have a horrendous hairpiece by now. Oh <laughs> God, would that be bad? Oh, I know. I would. Instead, you got the nice hair plugs, and it's, it's uh, they're good. not plugs; they're individual follicles oh, placed artistically in the proper direction from the harvest area. I was I was swinging I was swinging hatless on Sunday down at the uh, Black Strip Club. It was looking good. It's looking oh all right. Oh, my God. I, I didn't have to do, go with the brush thing either because yeah. it was growing in. I had to kind of brush it because it, it was kind of weird. Now it's kind of feeling like I, got the, I could kind of like curl it up a little like it used to be. Could you throw a little mousse in it? I could throw a little fucking gel in there. A little gel? A little, little mousse? gel. A little gel. All right, Lydia, get lost. Yeah. Okay, guys. You know nothing. <laughs> no. Nah. You, you know nothing. Uh, Lydia's all right. Thank you. Go, go, go. Uh, PJ in New York. PJ. Hey, man. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, there and a lot of people are saying that uh, right. there are white strip clubs in Philly. That guy yeah. was crazy, I guess. Crazy. Uh, PJ, what do you got? Yeah, man, Ed, you got to learn to differentiate between black strippers at ghetto clubs and black strippers at good clubs. Like, I mean, you go into the carousel, you are going to get straight up ghetto, you know, excuse me type chicks. Yeah. You go to a place like, like you know, headquarters or Ritz or something in the city, the black girls there are nothing at all like you will see a character. See, here it is, though. Nothing. Here it is, though, my friend. I didn't want to go to a high-end strip club. I wanted to go back to uh, my roots, my strip club roots, which are the local Long Island dive with the local uh, white chick uh, or even the dumb Russian chicks that just dance around, you throw them a few bucks, and you have fun. I, and then so I you picked the carousel? Yeah, because I've been there. I've been going there for years, and it's been the same thing. It actually does work. And then I walk in there, and it's fucking uh, Somali pirates uh, <laughs> p paying off some fucking broads. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, but Come back out to the island, buddy. Go to Cafe Royale. That's a nice little spot out there, man. Is that nude? Uh, it's not full. It's um, it's it's a it's a good Long Island strip club. It's on one hundred nine and one ten. Right. Yeah, I know, I know where I know where it is because I I've been there before. But when I was there, it was like not topless either. To the Oh no, they they go topless. They don't take the bottom off. Like if you get oh, the yeah, yeah but the do they anyway. do they give you the old? Well, I'm not supposed to do this, but uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they pull it aside a little bit. Is that because I, I <laughs> fucking whores? Right, boy, I, I I usually don't do this. <laughs> yeah, it was just the angry night. It was like at one point, one of the girls had bent over and she's picking up all her dollars on the stage. Yeah. And I'm just going, yeah, you pick up your dollars for showing us your tits, you whore. <laughs> you didn't say that. Pick up your dollars. Well, not so she could hear it. Just, just Because, uh, you know, the homies kind of look after their own. Yep. Little bit. Word. Before we uh, put the stripper club uh, oh, yeah. talk to bed, let's go to Eric in New York. Eric. Oh, what's up, boys? Eric. Eric. Uh, I got the place for you, Ann. It's in Jersey. It's got the little light on top of the place. It's on a corner street. Dark, dirty. You walk in there, it's that beautiful strip of smell. The girls don't speak a word of English. They're all Brazilian. You go in the back, and pretty much anything can happen for you. It's perfect. I want local white bitches. No, Brazilian, man. Brazilian. No, look, look. Shut it. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying what I want. I'm not saying what do you think I want. Here's what Anthony wants in a strip club. It's easy. I want local white bitches. If, if I'm in a Long Island strip club, I want big-haired, stupid, pasty white, white bitches you, on the fucking you stage. Want, you want local uh, bitches that are a little down on their luck. Exactly. You, you don't want your strippers coming from some factory somewhere. No. I want them, I want them from, you know... If I'm at, what was that place, Frogs in Smithtown? Yeah. I want a girl that went to Smithtown High. Yeah. You know. Well, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. To, you know, a bra that tells their, her parents that she's working at the mall or something. Yeah. But in reality, she's doing, you know, some shifts. Yeah, doing a few shifts down there. That's what I want. Because she if needs I go... to get her crystal meth habit. Right. In order. <laughs> and if I go to the carousel, uh, it would never used to be this infringement from Huntington Station. 
uh, going there. But now it seems, you know, it's the bad part of town. Would that be the other side of the tracks, Anthony? The absolute other side of the tracks. They've crossed over now. Uh oh. And, uh, and, and I, I just want to go. If I, when I go to strip club, I want white bitches. <laughs> You're trying to say that the bees. <laughs> Are, are, are almost here? They're, the, the killer bees. The killer bees. <laughs> They've crossed the tracks. They're a little closer now. They have crossed the tracks. <laughs> uh, 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 uh.